what is it that you did with these research packets? I'm really interested. Well, um, we had the, the, when we did the, the group work, we had the slideshow or the, not the slideshow, but the um, Google sheet that Maureen had given us that kind of had step stuff on it. And I thought, okay, I need, I need, I like, I like Google sheets, but I like paper. If I'm going to do research, I need something to write on. So what I did was I took page four through page 13, I think it was out of the workbook, made a copy of each page and then made 25 copies of the set. And that's what I'm using when I do my bundle research, because it's everything I need is there, all the background information, you know, the instructions of, you know, what to do, because it's just not ingrained in my brain yet. And that way I can write it out and then I have it in hand. I can keep it. And then when I go to do my listing, like everything's there. So yeah. it's, it's just, something I mean I like to do everything electronically that I can but I find with bundle research I have to have I have to write you know and I'm glad that you said that because I still to this day and I already know mentally that I'm doing the work twice in a sense that like when I'm going through merchant words for example I still write down the numbers like I'll write my keyword and the yeah. one this week that I discovered that was like a oh moment like you know you ever find those where you're like the search volume 65,000 a month and the number of products is like four and you're just like get let me at it right so I'm still writing all these numbers down and the keywords and everything else I still like to write it down so I'm with you on there and I know that then that has to translate into a document and all that stuff which I still do but then that also helps me um, make the corrections between the paper and mm -hmm. the writing listings maybe I'm missing it up so well thanks for sharing that yeah. for you guys that don't know um the workbook I know I bet somebody's going to ask that right they're going to be like how do I get that workbook <laughs> well the workbook is for workshop attendees so we don't actually have copies of that um for everyone I but that's just for workshops. So that's great. I'm glad you're utilizing that. Um, you know, we do put a lot of effort and time into making these materials. So um, the workbook using it and copying it. So bundlers that you guys already have these workbooks, you came to one of the workshops, use it. And if you care to, you can let um, Melanie, I think was asking about uh, coaching sessions and you said something about that. So um, if you want to chime in, I mean, we've had a session before, so um, go ahead. Yeah. We've had, we've had two sessions and I have had coaching in other careers um, and usually when you have a coaching session they tell you what you should do there's no input it's just here's what you need to do to accomplish whatever and the thing I liked about you was it's like okay what do you want to talk about what do you need from me it wasn't you telling me it was what do you need well then okay here's how I can help you get there or here's what you need to get there you need to do this, that, and the other thing. And it, you just, it was like having somebody, I, I sort of had a clue what I was doing, but I needed to bounce it. I needed to, to just, I needed some reassurance that I was on the right track. It wasn't necessarily answering all my questions of, of you know, giving me one through 10 steps. I just kind of needed, okay, I'm on the right track because I'm, for me personally, I learn better by doing than for somebody just to tell me what to do. So, you know, when I did my listings, I knew there were problems with them. The first two I did, they were like my practice ones. And that's why I submitted them for review because I knew there was issues, mm -hmm. but I was pleasantly surprised that the issues that you identified were the ones I had already identified. There was nothing that I hadn't already picked out. So that made me feel good that I actually knew what was wrong with them. <laughs> and that also shows that you're putting into practice everything that we've talked about. You know, you're doing your homework. Yeah. And I yeah. think that's really, you know, the, the perfect part about it is that, you know, you get a little guidance, you get a little uh, reassurance and mm -hmm. confidence. And that's yeah. what really comes with someone saying you did the work and then validating that you're, you know, just a little bit of tweaks here and there. So yay, I'm so glad. And thank you for, for joining us live.